Hello friends, my name is Smita. In my previous video, I have discussed about the components in general, their characteristics and their benefits. In this video, I am going to mostly talk about the form components and, uh, and the interfaces and uh, what is behind the COM interfaces. So, basically COM components uh, consist of executable code distributed as DLL or DHC. To be very precise, COM is not a language. It is a specification or a guideline provided by Microsoft uh, framework to build our own components. And the COM components also meets all the standards required for the dynamically interchangeable components like that we talked about in the previous lesson, like every component has to be reusable, extendable, uh, encapsulated, or not context-specific, language-independent, etc. So even COM components uh, meet all these standards. And COM is the foundation on which the Microsoft technologies like ActiveX, DirectX, or OLE are built. Now let's talk about the interfaces in general. Uh, interface to a com uh, or interface to a com is everything. Okay, interface to a DLL or a component is set of functions exported by the DLL. Same way for C++ class, it is a set of functions exported by the class. And however, when we talk about the com interface, it is, uh, it has a very specific definition. When we say uh, a COM, when we talk about a COM interface, it is a specific memory structure containing an array of function pointers and each element of the array containing the address of the functions implemented by the component. So, uh, when we talk in terms of COM, interface is a specific memory model Okay, and uh, the memory model, that is what uh, matters most here. So, interface is the only uh, point of uh, communication between the component and the client. And the I unknown interface is the backbone of COM, uh, com component, basically. Like, uh, every COM interface is supposed to inherit from I unknown interface. And this is what gives the specific memory model uh, to it that I have uh, mentioned about. Like, I unknown interface has uh, provided three functions, query interface, address, and release, which every component has to implement. And uh, in the memory model, the first three uh, elements uh, uh, in the array has to be the query interface, address, and the release. So uh, let's see a simple example of uh, interface implementation, and uh, we'll see the COM memory model in more detail. Um, so here is a simple IX interface. Okay, this is basically a pure written in pure abstract uh, base class in C++. A pure abstract base class is a uh, class, base class, which contains uh, only the virtual function. And the virtual function is a function that is specified as equal to zero. And that's equal to zero is the pure specifier. And the implementation detail will only be provided in the uh, class that derives from this, mm, this pure after base class. So here CA is a class implementation which is deriving from IX and uh, it is providing the implementation for this function, for this virtual function. So when uh, a pure abstract virtual, uh, sorry, pure abstract base class is defined in C++, actually the compiler uh, sets a specific memory model for it. So if you're coming from a C++ background, you must be already uh, knowing about the VPTR, uh, VTable pointer, and the uh, virtual function table. So what happens, uh, this client is just for our, let's see the code again. <coughs> Here down I have written a main function where I'm creating a pointer to this uh, class. And using the pointer I get a PIX pointer, the interface pointer, 
And then using the interface pointer, uh, we can access the functionalities provided by PA. Okay, so for this memory model, this PA uh, will be pointing to the V table pointer uh, whenever, uh, so in case of TOREFSEC based class in C++, this PA will be pointing to a V table pointer and this V table pointer will point to the virtual function table, okay. And this, this is a table of array and every element holds the address to the uh, implementation of the function, okay, implemented by the component CA. So this is, this is what the compiler does uh, behind the scenes. So uh, as I said, this uh, COM component or COM interface has to be inherited from the I unknown interface. So therefore, Every COM virtual, like every COM interface virtual table, uh, for every uh, like uh, COM interface, yeah, the memory model will have a virtual table where the first three entries will be the query interface address and the release, and this is what makes it a COM interface. Okay, so to become to uh, define it as a COM interface. The interface has to inherit from I unknown interface, and this I unknown interface will provide the component with query interface address and release. And uh, in our example, if you see, I have another base class, uh, sorry, I have another derived class CB, which is also implementing IX. So both CA and CB are have, uh, having their own implementation of FX1 and FX2 function, or for that matter, any other function. Suppose we have FX3, FX4, etc. Also, so both the functions are having their own implementation. So even in that case, suppose the client is having both PA and CB's um, uh, in the PB's uh, pointers, okay, plus pointers. So each of these uh, uh, these pointers will have their own virtual table pointer, which is pointing to its own virtual function table, and and which is basically finally pointing to the uh, to its own classes uh, function. Okay, so even though we have uh, the client is uh, having two different instances or two different uh, components that are inheriting from the same interface and uh, implementing the same functions, there is no uh, possibility of name clashing or there is no possibility of con confusion for the compiler like which function to call. Because in the runtime, based on the address in the virtual table, it is able to resolve it. Okay, so whether the uh, address pointing to CA uh, function or the CD function. So this is how, in general, the component uh, object model, memory model, is defined uh, for a uh, COM component, okay? This is how, with the query interface address and release in the, as the first three uh, elements in the area of virtual function table. And uh, at this, like uh, here, I just want to make, a, make you uh, understand one thing. I have implemented these interfaces. I said that it is the IX and IY interfaces implemented as your abstract based classes, but these are not your COM interfaces because if you see here, we are not inheriting from I unknown. And uh, in this example of main, we have lot of issues. This is not a pure COM example because the Although I'm saying main as a client, client is knowing the component directly. So in, in the pure com programming, the client have no knowledge about the component. Only thing it knows is, only thing it has is, is a I unknown interface and using that interface and using the query interface function, it will be able to query for uh, any other interface that, is in, that it is interested in interested in or if it, if the client wants to find out whether a particular interface is implemented is in that component or not, it just have to query, uh, uh, it just have to use the query interface function using the I unknown pointer. 
So this is not an uh, example of a form interface. I just use it to show the uh, memory model of the form interface. So this is all for this video. I hope you like the video. Please uh, click the hit button if in if it is benefiting you in a way. Thank you so much for watching my video.